Hallo Freunde, I'm very excited to post my new hydroponic passive solar greenhouse. First a big shout out to my uncle Greg and cousin Jake and my dad for helping me put this together this summer. Uh, we built this structure outer dimension 12 and a half by 8. There are two solar arm vents in the roof uh, which open and close according to temperature. The north and east sides of the greenhouse are insulated well since there's no radiant energy coming in from those sides and the south and the west have an 8 millimeter polycarb. I have a gutter system which collects rain uh, and I have rain barrels in the back for the nutrient solution. That's not hooked up yet. The front is a standard patio door. You step inside. I have two types of hydroponic systems. One we have the vertical towers. I used a one and a half, one and a half inch wise T to connect uh, these uh, one and a half inch PVC together. The nutrient is supplied through the top, just through straight up connectors. I didn't have enough pressure for the wood prickers, which uh, needed about five pounds, five to 45 pounds. Um, and my pumps is obviously getting less than that, so I just connected regular connectors up there to a half inch pull line. Uh, the nutrient flows down into my bottom pipe, which drains then into my nutrient container, which is an IBC container, 600 liters, which sits below the greenhouse. You can see here how the water, the nutrient, is trickling down the front of these PVC vertical towers. I don't know if you noticed when we came in, but they are sitting slightly forward so that the nutrient trickles down the front end. The second system that I have yet to complete installation on are the Dutch bucket systems. The, this Dutch bucket system is going to have uh, my larger leafy greens that are not going to fit into the vertical towers. Uh, the towers are basically for uh, lettuce and bok choy. I did throw in a couple uh, basil as you can see. I'm a little bit impatient. I want to want that to get going. But some of the other fun things that I have here in the system uh, is my um, ventilation fan which I have running backwards. It's pumping air into the greenhouse. Um, when I did the math, I, the 4 inch fan for this square footage uh, did uh, point to circulate had the entire volume twice an hour, but since this isn't a pressurized system, I don't think I'm getting that, so I'm going to be upgrading soon to a 6-inch fan. The ventilation fan is hooked up to a thermostat, a digital thermostat, tells me what the temperature um, is, and then I have that fan uh, to go off and on uh, at a specified temperature, depending on when we are in the season. Um, I did put a filter on my pull line for the towers and for the Dutch buckets just to uh, make sure that there is no debris uh, getting uh, into my lines and clogging up my connectors. And I also have a uh, filter on my pipe going back into the system. Uh, we are in Chicago, so obviously what's going to happen in the winter, <laughs> uh, we'll see. I did put in, you can see here this uh, orange line is a PEX Alpex uh, tubing. And I did run about uh, 200 feet of coiled tubes underneath this uh, uh, foundation here, which is a uh, rock. Underneath that, I have sand. And uh, the base of the greenhouse on each of the four corners uh, goes down with a two inch Owens Corning insulation board uh, to between two and three feet. Uh, and then I have the base here, the floor of the greenhouse is insulated. Um, also with a 2 inch insulation board uh, that sits about 8 inches below grade and then I have a layer of sand and then that Pexel packs and then another layer of sand and then the rocks. So the idea is for the winter is to build a solar collector which is going to sit facing south with a thermostat in the inside uh, and I'm planning on using aluminum fins and I'm going to run a uh, PEX line out there, the PEX Alpex with that aluminum lining uh, for better uh, conduction and the idea is that the um, solar collector will uh, heat up and then the, I'll have a pump uh, which will be inside right underneath the floor here 
I have a 55 gallon uh, polyethylene drum that's going to hold the antifreeze, uh, pump out to the solar collector when the temperature heats up, heat the water back into the 55 gallon drum, which is then at night time uh, going to send the um, fluid through the floor and then heat up the floor and heat up the greenhouse. Uh, another idea that I saw a lot of people are doing online is that they just have water containers that they paint black. So I built a shelf up here and that uh, which actually was super convenient for all my tools when I was building uh, the top of this uh, tower system. Uh, and so I'll just have those uh, black, painted black, uh, type 2 uh, food grade uh, juice containers filled with water as another uh, means of, of uh, passive solar heat. So otherwise I have my motion LED in here in case I need to come here at night uh, and I think that's about it. So thanks for watching and happy growing.